Hey everyone, we're back at it with another walkthrough. My name's Michelle White, and I'm gonna be your guys' host today as we talk about how to take the Reach software and install it on BrightSign players, but using VSN Cloud. So we're gonna break this up into three sections. The first part, we're gonna talk about what is VSN Cloud? Why is Reach using this to manage and control these BrightSign players? The second part is we'll talk about how is BSN Cloud, how does the Reach system sort of combine or work together? And then last and final, we'll talk about if you yourself already have BSN Cloud, what would you need to know to get the Reach software installed? All right, my fellow viewers, let's go ahead and get started. is basically a content management system that allows you to organize, control, and manage all of your BrightSign players. Now, Reach obviously uses it to help manage and control any issues that might happen with those BrightSign players. It allows us to basically deploy our package instantly, multiple. We provide sort of what we call plug and play, which means the time you get that BrightSign player, the time you go and install it, it's instant. Now, to explain to you a little bit why VSN Cloud is so awesome, I feel like I need to tell you the backstory. So before this existed, for Reach to basically deploy their package, what we would have to do is we'd have to get our hands on all the BrightSign players. Now, of course, we would do it or you would do it. And what you would do is each BrightSign player has what they call an SD card. You would take that SD card out, you'd go to your computer, you plug that in, and you basically install or download an auto run. Auto run is just a little series of code. It's basically just telling that, you know, the reach package is installed on that. Take that SD card, you put it into the BrightSign player, and then you take that BrightSign player and go install it. Doesn't sound hard, right? But you can only do one player at a time. Having to sort of continuing to go to the computer and having to be sort of dependent on it takes time. Imagine if you had 50 players. Imagine if you had 100 or 200 players. The time it would take just to get the software on one of those. You definitely would not want to be the guy chosen for that job. So BrightSign knew that, right? They, they knew they had that gap there. And they said, you know what? We got to come up with something better. So they came up with BSN Cloud. So BSN Cloud, again, it allows Reach to easily manage, deploy our package instantly. It makes it easier for you. The time you get that BrightSign player, it's a plug and play. You literally take it, bam. You see your layout, you see your content, everything is starting to roll. So that sort of leads us into our second part here. Second part is how does BS and Cloud and how does the Reach system work together? I mean, they're completely two different cloud-based platforms. So let's go ahead and jump into that part. Here we have BS and Cloud and here we have the Reach system, two separate sort of content management. How are they working together? How are they sort of coming together? Best way to explain this is sort of to, to give you a scenario. So let's just say you call me and you say, hey, Michelle, you know what? You're super awesome, of course, make sure you slide that in, but I need two BrightSign players. All right, so I'll reach out to BrightSign. I'll say, hey, I need two BrightSign players. I need this model number and I need it shipped to this address. So when BrightSign responds back, they're gonna give me serial numbers. Now it's important on this one, okay? So each BrightSign player has a unique serial number. And that's gonna be important to understand as we sort of talk about this process. So what I'm gonna do, once I get that information, I'm gonna go into the Reach system. I'm gonna start creating Reach players here, right? So the reason why I'm doing this is that it's gonna give you access and control to your BrightSign player. And we'll talk about this in just a sec, so just gonna keep that in mind. So only Reach employees can create players. So I'm gonna keep that ratio the same. If you're ordering two BrightSign players, I'm gonna create two players in the Reach system. If you order 10, I'm gonna create 10, 20, and, and so on. Once I create the player, what I'm gonna do is right down below here, there's an auto config. I'm gonna type in BrightSign, and I'm gonna put your serial number in there. Again, that's really important, because right now I've just made that connection on the Reach side. Here's this BrightSign, here's the serial number, now already that's combined in. Now, when you create a reach player, each reach player gets a unique UU 
ID. And that's important to understand, right? So again, we've got two different systems who have unique information or unique sort of uh, numbers tied to them. So that's important to understand, as I said. So what I'm gonna do now is once I'm done with this process on the reach side, I'm gonna go into BSN Cloud. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add device right here. And as you can see, there's three fields. First field says serial number. Well, we already have that, right? So I'm gonna put that in. Second part. Now this part, I'm gonna put the reach UUID of that player. So already now on BSN Cloud, I am making again that bind, right? It is communicating with the reach player in the reach system. The last field talking about the description, I'm gonna put your information. What's the name of your company, right? If I know where that player is going to be going, maybe it's going into the lobby, maybe it's going into the lunchroom, I'm gonna put some more information in there. And then I'm gonna hit add device. Now that adds the device into our organization, right? In our BSN Cloud. The last and final step is I need to push the reach package down, right? I need to deploy that. And the reason why I want to do that is because the time you get that bright sign player, all I want you to do is get power and internet connected to your TV. And I want you to see your layout and content right away. So what I'll do is I'll select the device. And again, I can do one. We can do multiple, right? That's the nice thing about BSN Cloud is I can push out multiple. I'll select one for this scenario. I'll go ahead and apply application. And then as you can see right here, reach media network and I'll hit apply. So once again, once you get that player, you're gonna see your content instantly. And again, we call that a plug and play. Now functionality, capabilities. So the reason why I'm creating these players in the reach CMS is because I wanna give you access to your players. So right here in the dashboard, you can reboot the player. You can grab screenshots. It's important that we are able to push software updates to those players. We're a digital science company. We're always making improvements of our code. And we're always deploying, that way you have the latest and greatest. It's gonna give us access to that. BSN Cloud, right? We can also use, utilize BSN Cloud, but unfortunately you don't have access to that. That's why it's important that our reach CMS has that capabilities for you. Now we use BSN Cloud. Of course, we can restart as well. We can reboot. But the main thing we use BSN Cloud for is not only just organization, but to help manage and control those players on your side. We're able to pull logs. Logs is a huge thing. If anything happens with your BrightSign player, BSN Cloud basically has logs, right, or, or reports, and it tells us exactly how that player is running. And at any point, we can read through that and we can say, oh, you know what, here's the issue. And then we can help you get that player back online or get that player working how it should. So again, giving you the controls on the reach CMS side to sort of manage and control it, but it also gives us the control to help you because we wanna make this process as seamless and as easy as possible. So that kind of leads us into our third part. Third part, we're gonna talk about what if you already have BrightSign players, right? What if the, I don't need to order them for you? What if you already have BS and Cloud? How do you get the reach system on there? Let's kind of jump into that next. What if you say, hey, Michelle, you know what? <laughs> I already got my BrightSign player. Not a big deal at all. So. The only reason why we like ordering those bright sign players is for two main reasons. First of all, we want to give you that plug and play option. It's going to make your job a lot easier. It's going to give you a nice, seamless, smooth process. You receive the players, you go and put them behind the TV, you get those players power and internet, bam, layout content instantly running. Who doesn't like that, right? Second part is the reason why we like to order them is because we like to put you under our organization. We like to put you in our BSN cloud. So we, as a partner, can help manage and control those players with you. Now, again, here you have that bright sign player already, not a big deal. Give us a call, we'll walk you through the step. Don't stress out too much. We'll help you get the reach software on there. What if you say, hey, you know what? I already have BSN Cloud. Sweet, awesome, but you can't get rid of me just yet. I'm still gonna have to create the players in the reach system, all right? And I'm gonna ask for those unique serial numbers. So I can sort of match them up that ratio. Maybe you want the unique UUIDs. Maybe that will be helpful for you. But again, as you saw with BSN Cloud, it's super easy to download or push or deploy the reach system. Again, you go to applications, you look for the reach media, bam, software is installed. So that's it of our walkthrough today. I hope I answered all of your guys' questions. I hope the process makes sense. 
if something maybe came up and you're like, ah, you know what? Now you can, I have more questions. Call us, email us. Again, my name is Michelle White and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Again, have a great day and enjoy it. Thank you.